Okay, so let's look at this foot right here. Okay, now except for this going on right here, a little bit of the pooching of the apex of the frog right here where it's uh, a little bit prolapsed, uh, you would never know how messed up this foot was. Okay, now uh, the fact that, that she couldn't hardly walk, of course, that's going to give you an inclination, but what we want to look at is jamming in the walls right back here, which can actually lift and pull the internal foot back. And as you see there in hers too, she had extreme stretching of the lamina. Plus, she had a new sole actually growing on the foot itself. What did I do with that foot? Oh, it's in the freezer. Growing on the foot itself, and the dog stole the other one. There was, there was sole growing on the bottom of the foot in between the hoof capsule. Now, when you're looking at these hoof capsules, just like this, the inner foot has a certain anatomy in the way it's made up, so also does the hoof capsule here. You have, uh, just like a shoe, you have the outer face of the sole, and then you have the inner face of the sole. Now this should have been connected and growing from the bottom of the foot here. But because eventually, on Cat Dancer's foot here, eventually the whole foot got pulled back and up like this, so that actually in truth she's walking on her toe like this, even though the hoof capsule looked like that. Okay, so see, she's actually walking, let's see actually walking like this like this see see how that can happen pretty easy okay so what happened to her was eventually um, these soul papillae from which the soul grows only stretch so much eventually um, her foot was pulled right out of the inner face of the sole here, okay, and was separated from it. And so she actually had another sole. Now I don't, I don't have that foot with me, but um, it actually had another sole growing inside the hoof capsule on the bottom of the sole corium. Now you can also see in here where the sole is that she had growing right here. Okay, and um, what this is called, I have come to learn, <laughs> is a, a solar abscess. Either, I don't know if it's a subsolar abscess or a solar abscess, but anyway, it's where they schluff the whole sole. Okay, but a lot of times it'll still be stuck to the capsule like that. See, so that's something you could Google. Um, uh, solar abscess. Look at pictures of it because you'll see them where, where these pieces of sole just come off and you'll see the internal foot like so and it'll have very very yellow sole growing on it because new sole is very yellow a lot of times and uh, almost the color of butterscotch. So can you see how that could happen? how this foot can, can become detached from the sole here. Well, it doesn't quit growing sole, so the sole continues to grow on the bottom of the foot, but now you've got um, this false sole here. And so, um, you know, you'll see pictures of big chunks out of them, but you also, uh, you know, imagine this happens to horses and people don't even realize it's going on because it's all hidden by what looks like a nice hoof hoof capsule and a sole, but it's actually got another sole growing underneath. Okay, so I guess the object of that would be to um, start trying to get rid of that excess false sole um, and get all the poison and junk out of there so that your horse could grow his new sole. Alright, so let's see, what else? What else do we want to talk about here? Okay. Um, oh, Okay, here's something I found out. Oh, well, here. Before we do that, 
Let's take a good look at where the bar is. Okay. Once you see this, the bar, okay, has lamina too, just like on the outside of here. A little thinner. Not much though. Here's the bar. Bar ends right here. Eh, I want you to be able to see this. Okay, there we go. Okay. Here's your bar. Right here. Okay, so if you have what looks to be bar going growing clear up here, you know that that's not correct, right? Okay, your eyeball don't grow on your fingernail. Isn't that correct? So bar is only supposed to be where bar grows. Right here. Okay, now right here is what we have called the buttress of the heel. Right here, where it curves around. Which is, if I have a good picture, which I don't, a good, uh, okay, well this one ain't too bad. Okay, there's your buttress. Comes up there, like so. Okay, so, obviously, checking the collateral grooves on this horse wouldn't have shown you how thick the sole was, would it? Since the whole sole was detached from the inside. See, that's a piece of sole right there. If you can see it. Okay, so what else should we talk about? Do, 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 do. Okay. There was something I was going to talk to you about. Oh, okay. So, the more we understand, get a picture of this internal foot, the more we'll be able to understand uh, hoof distortion and see when things aren't right. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we're going to know right off the bat how to correct it. Now, just because I'm showing you all this stuff about the foot, don't mean I have all the answers on how to fix things. I'm just starting to find out some good answers about stuff. But at least if we know the truth of that internal foot, we can use our brains to start figuring out how to get this hoof capsule to grow perfectly to this foot. Because as I said, we're, we're growing a good foot, we're not simply trimming a good foot. We're growing this horse a new boot to put on his foot. So. Okay, what was it I wanted to show you? Now I remember. Okay, now this stumped me for a long time. And I don't know if I'll be able to exactly explain it. All right, there are those that teach that the foot, this is the only one I have for now, that the foot is as wide as it is long. Okay? And, uh, but what I found out, We'll have to do that in the next session.